Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today we're going to do a video on a brand new arrival here at the dealership. What we're looking at is a 2014 Ram Pro Master low top Sherry Conversion Van. Now this is done in the deep cherry pearl coat paint. Uh, it's actually the first one to show up at the dealership and I think it turned out really nice. It's a very pretty color. And uh, first and foremost, one thing you're going to notice on this Pro Master is it does have full body paint. Um, all the accents in the front have been painted to match, including the mirrors, door handles, running boards. So it's really dressed up well, looks very good. Now moving to the side of the van, uh, this particular van does come with the black graphics on the, on the exterior and also 16 inch chrome and black wheels. Uh, we do have a different wheel option available. Um, if, if you want an 18 inch wheel, that wheel is available, but uh, this particular package has the 16s on it. Um, moving down the side, we do have an exposed running board. Uh, makes it very easy to enter and exit the van, and uh, obviously that's on both sides of the vehicle. Um, we do have privacy glass all the way around. Now this is a 5% tent in the back of the van and a 30% tent up in the front. So it should be legal in all 50 states. Uh, real nice feature, helps dress up the vehicle as well. All right, moving along to the back of the van, there's a few things I want to go over. Uh, some safety features, also some uh, the, the utility of the back of this van. Um, starting with the backup camera, uh, this particular van does have a rear backup system and that is paired with the navigation unit and I will go over the navigation unit once inside the van. But it, it really is a nice feature to have, uh, especially in a bigger vehicle such as this, to have the capability to see what's behind you. It's a very nice feature. Also, this van is equipped with traction control, uh, does have a rollover mitigation system, and does have a hill start brake assist. Also, while I'm standing back here, just want to talk about these rear doors a little bit. Um, they are the biggest in the class. Um, they do have two positions they will stop in. As you can see, I have this door right here facing almost completely forward, or the, the, the door will stop right here as well. So as you can see, we've got an amazing amount of cargo space, and it's very easy to get to. So loading stuff into the back of this van or taking things out is uh, going to be very easy, very easy for you. Okay, now I want to take this time to demonstrate the, the entry and exit on this conversion van. Obviously, you can tell that this is a sliding door, uh, very easy to operate, um, can, can actually be done with just two fingers, so it works out perfect. And with this being a front-wheel drive conversion van, we have no drive shaft to contend with, so therefore we have the lowest floor also in the industry. So just let me demonstrate, I'm six foot two. Uh, again, this is a low top conversion van, and look how I can enter this vehicle. Okay, now moving along to the back of this conversion van. Uh, I'm gonna go over all the amenities that are included in the Sherry conversion van, starting with electronics. Uh, the electronics in this van uh, are state of the art, does have a 20 inch flip down, um, and that is paired up to a Samsung Smart Blu-ray player. So it does have some built-in applications such as Netflix and a few other things that you can do. Moving on to the chairs in this van, um, the, the chairs and the, the captain's chairs in, in this particular van are on a swivel base. Uh, they do fully recline and they do uh, have a power recline, I should say. And uh, they will swivel into two different positions. You can face them forward or you can face uh, the rear passengers and uh, they will lock into a position to, to ensure safety. Um, and something else I want to key on are the seat belts. Um, you know, the seat belts come directly out of the seat, so no matter what position you do have this seat in, either forward or back, um, you're, you're going to be safely secured. So that's a nice feature. Uh, moving on to the, uh, the indirect lighting in this van. Um, typically, you'll, you'll see indirect lighting right in the center of the ceiling. Our van's a little different. We've run our indirect lighting down the, the um, upper part of the roof and also on the side of the wall to break up the two-tone pattern that we have going on in this van. Um, speaking of two-tone, you'll notice that we have a gray bottom wall with a tan upper wall and paired that with some really nice black shades here along with black cabinetry and the black trim piece that goes along the side of the van. Now this van does have storage all the way around. 
um, something that you're not used to seeing in a low top, but uh, we were able to incorporate that in our low top. It turned out really well and uh, gives you plenty of storage in the back of this van. Okay, now I want to talk about the two main control panels in the back of this van. First one is to operate the heat and air system in the back of this van. Gives you a nice digital readout. Uh, I've got up and down with the temperature, hot and cold. Also, you can adjust the fan speed and uh, turn, switch it from AC to heat. So that's a really nice, easy to use control panel for the heat and air. And also, you're going to notice another one back here. Now, what this does is controls all the lights. You have the capability to turn the lights on and off with these buttons here. And you also have two power options. You got a 110 and a DC plug-in. Now what you can do with this is you can plug any game system, anything that you want to uh, display on that flip down, you can do that with this HDMI input right here. So any, any video game system is going to work in this van. Uh, you could connect a laptop to it. Um, a tablet, what, it, what have you, and it's going to display right there on the um, flip down. Okay, moving along to the back of this Ram Promaster conversion van, uh, I want to talk about the rear sofa, but first I want to talk about the leg room that's in this van. Now, you know, the, the captain's chair in front of me is slid all the way back on its track, and again, I'm six foot two and I can sit back here with my legs crossed and I'm not even touching the chair. Again, with this being the widest and uh, conversion, the, the widest interior um, in its segment you know, due to the front wheel drive, um, no drive shaft, giving us a lower floor. It just turned out really well. Um, there's not a seven passenger on the market that can offer this kind of room and space. So very proud of how it turned out. Now back to the rear sofa. Um, this is on a power sliding track, so you can adjust the sofa forward or back to give yourself a little more storage or a little uh, more leg room. Uh, so it's very easy to accommodate that um, and, and also it, it will fold completely flat. So if you want to get some rest while, while traveling in this van, you can easily do so. Okay, moving to the front of this van, I want to take this time to go over all the features that come in the front of this van. Um, starting with the power equipment, we do have power windows, power locks, um, a keyless entry system on this van. Uh, the mirrors are power and also they do have a, a, a power collapsing feature. So if you need to uh, tuck this fan into a tight spot, you'll be able to do that with one touch of the button. Moving along to the chairs that uh, are in the front of this fan. Uh, turned out really well, wrapped in a nice tan leather. Uh, are an eight way adjustable seat with heat and lumbar. Uh, so finding that sweet spot's not hard to do in the front. Uh, the steering wheel uh, turned out really good as well. Um, wrapped in leather with a perforated leather here on the side. Uh, makes for a really nice soft touch feel on the wheel. Um, also this is on a telescopic uh, steering post so you can raise and lower the wheel um, just to get, get that right position. Moving over to the dash, uh, I've got multiple charging ports in the front of this ProMaster. Now this ProMaster has three USB charging ports in the front. It does have a DC port as well and uh, four cup holders up in the front of this van. So plenty of storage with two glove boxes, and we'll demonstrate that later in the video. And uh, probably the most important thing in the front of this van would be the navigation AM FM CD player. Um, as I mentioned earlier, when we were doing the segment in the back of the van, uh, when you put this van in reverse, your image is gonna show up directly on your navigation unit. So it's a really nice feature to have. And that pretty much wraps up the front of this Ram ProMaster conversion van. Once again, my name is Justin Smith, and I want to thank you for joining us here today at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. And I hope you enjoyed the video that we did here on this brand new 2014 Ram ProMaster conversion van. Now, if you have any questions on this particular van, something I might not have covered in the video, please don't hesitate to call. Even if it's on another conversion van, I'm always around willing to answer anybody's questions. And for those of you that are looking for that specific conversion van, that next great deal, I kindly ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and that's going to give you an alert anytime Brian and I do a new video here at the dealership. Once again, thank you for joining us and I hope you have a great day.